friends and welcome to Lakalama YouTube channel. I'm Natasha and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you came today. I really love this knitting community that we have out here. And today I would like to do another knitting vlog where I would like to talk about my new yarn inquiries, few finished objects and also a few things that I'm working on. This year we have uh, super extremely warm uh, November. It's interesting because today is already November 30th, but we still uh, don't have snow. We had like a, a lot of snow for a couple days, like more in the beginning of November, and now it's all melted. <laughs> And we have green grass, but it's interesting. I talk to a lot of knitters a lot around the world and places where they usually don't have snow. Now they have a lot of snow, but we usually have at this type of the year, like really cold and it's a lot of snow. But I think all our snow from Manitoba went to other parts of the world and we are enjoying like super warm autumn. I'm not complaining because it's like outside like plus 10, plus five just like just perfect weather not too hot not too cold just um you can wear like light jacket for example and you don't have to even zip it up or wear a hat or mitten so that's like amazing i love it so much so let's start on what i'm wearing today i'm wearing today cardigan that i knitted not long ago uh, i got this yarn um as a gift uh, for my birthday and then I knitted cardigan for the waist and I've been wearing it ever since it's kind of like a little bit cropped version uh, but it's perfect for dresses or high-waisted jeans um, I had uh, six balls no I think I had five balls and that's like I just knitted it all in here uh, I didn't use a pattern I was just freestyling on larger needles and yeah and i got really nice warm garment so and today i would like to show you a few more of my finished objects uh in the beginning so here i have this mittens which i was knitting out of a yarn uh it's 100% uh, wool uh quite worsted weight my friend she went on her vacation to um uh, england and she brought me this 100 grams ball of English yarn from blah blah I'll write the name of the yarn and I decided to knit myself a mittens and as you can see <laughs> here is a Ukrainian flag so when I started um, to knit these mittens it was uh, just uh, one week I think after uh, my dad uh, passed away in Ukraine and he just didn't live just a few weeks uh, before his 80th birthday so that was a little bit sad and so when I started to knit these mittens I kind of felt that I want to put something like with Ukrainian flag on these mittens and I didn't know exactly how to do it but then uh, thought came so I was basically uh, knitting and I decided to make stripes not just like a small uh, square of like a flag and they were like a therapy for me while I was working I put all my emotions into them and now when I wear them and they warm me up and they also warm up my heart first of all because my friend uh, my knitting friend she gifted me this yarn and second of all because it's a memory of my dad so that was like really nice um and also I did pattern on them and I'll link uh, link below this video if you're interested to knit mittens like that and you can also put a flag of origin of your dad or your ancestors so I called them father's mates because first I thought I would call them daddy's mates but then I feel like when I think about my dad I feel like more father <laughs> a word comes to me more father than daddy so that's one finished object I've been wearing them already a lot and I like uh, because it's 100% wool uh, it just fluffs up so nicely and here I think three breeds in this yarn but as I said I will leave under this video the name of a yarn and a shade and uh, 
yeah and the company who makes it so and um, my second big finished object it says beautiful okay this way <laughs> big beautiful shawl by Andrew Mallory and I will add of course name of a pattern and link to it so it's huge it's huge but it used only two balls of mohair i used mohair from jobs because i had two balls in my stash and i didn't really know where to um, use it and this gorgeous yarn i'll also insert a picture i just got it uh, from a local store here in manitoba because i was in that city and i couldn't resist not to stop there and pick up something and it gave me this beautiful shawl i've been wearing it quite a bit and because i really wanted for a long time like such a nice long <laughs> shawl I, I, of course uh, include pictures here uh, how it looks on me because it's too big to show here right and too hot to sit in it but i've been wearing it with jacket or just like with a lighter blouse and just wrapping myself and i like it so much because uh, because of the texture and fabric right because there's sections of kid silk which are very fine but also very warm but texture is so soft and flexible so you can easily wrap this um, huge shawl just around your neck or you can make it like as a triangle you can cover your head and neck and also you can basically if you are in a room like sometimes i go and i sit in a room where uh, they add fresh air in winter not only heat get this breeze with cold air so i just put it on my shoulders and put the uh, length's uh, long ends on my legs cover kind of my legs and it just keeps me warm so i really really um, uh, i think it's a piece that you must have in your wardrobe. I remember when a lot of podcasters were knitting the shawl and I was looking and I said, wow, that's a lot of work for the shawl. Oh, it's too big and stuff like that. But then a couple years later, <laughs> it hit me and I knitted it and I'm just surprised how um, useful it is and how comfortable it is to wear so i'm really glad that i finished it of course it was quite a bit of work but i knitted it in one week but it, like i put all my effort into finishing it but i'm glad i did because it's like really useful piece so and i've been working on um some other i will just insert one piece with some other my other finished objects um after i talk and here i would like to show you my progress on zumba ball <laughs> sock so i showed it to you last time and i mentioned that this sock i have in my car and when i have to wait or sit in a car um, so i knit on it and now i'm at the point where i need to do my toe so i brought it inside I will finish <laughs> don't look that it's so narrow because first of all it's a ribbing three by one and second of all i have narrow foot so i usually cast on uh 56 stitches right so it's like um, other people most people would cast on 60 or 64 stitches for a sock or more but for me uh that's perfect and now i will finish uh, my toe and then i will start second sock i'm if this yarn is really pleasant to work with and also because it changing color it changes color all the time it's uh, <laughs> it's fun you're kind of knitting and you want to see i think if i would keep the socks uh, at home i would finish them in one or two days and i'm using this project bag uh, from michael's i was one time i found that michael's has some project bags so and i got myself this one cute very um great size and very easy to use and fabric that doesn't get like it stays in the car in the car it's usually more dust and stuff so it doesn't get dirty very quickly and a uh, second project that i am working on it's this beautiful mittens i'm using this um uh, yarn it's um angora angora mink fur yarn and i finished one mitten already 
and I'm working on a second one and I'm in my plan is to write a pattern for them it's like it's basically written <laughs> I just need to edit it a little bit and publish so and here's a second so a second mid so this one's I'm knitting on 3.5 millimeter needles Mm -hmm. and then of course this yarn is after washing it blooms and fluffs up and the more you wear it the fluffier it becomes because of the and it's like yeah really warm nice and especially after first washing when i wash it in the washing machine then when i take it out it's so beautiful and fluffy and, and in the end of this video when you will see some socks and pink mittens that i knitted out of this yarn you will get a closer view and you will see how fluffy and awesome uh, they become also i got um, a gift from uh, one store in germany which called abel knit wolle and i'll link a uh, link to the store under this video uh, so with some of my russian speaking knitting friends we were participating uh, in a knitting game where we were supposed to knit uh, on four different topics four weeks and then we had to do video and everything at certain times otherwise you can <laughs> uh, lose your spot in the game so and we had some sponsors who were sponsoring that game and depending on uh, spot you got uh, you got gift from particular store so and I got a gift from a Belknit Wolle store and gift was a really nice in the beginning um, store owner she cut like that's how store looks like logo and after winning <laughs> store owner contacted me and she said that i can choose one hang of a hand dyed yarn and it's like on my choice so i looked through the yarns because this store they have hand dyed yarn they have uh, yarns on cone they have a lot of knitting accessories uh, a lot of things in there so and i chose this beautiful kid silk yarn it's 50 grams it's hand dyed and i will insert um, a picture and the name of a pattern that i would like to knit out of this yarn i think it would look great in that garment and yeah so and i was expecting just one hank of yarn as a gift from this store but when package came i was surprised because i got uh this beautiful skein It's gorgeous it's really really soft i don't know if i touched uh mohair as soft as this one and then second skein was this one it's also hand dyed by the owner of the store and this one is 65 percent alpaca and 35 percent wool and it's 260 meters per 100 grams very soft very beautiful and for this skein i also have a project i will also insert picture here it's carlina pullover i bought this pattern a long time ago but for some reason um never started because like i had a base color but for the color work i wanted some kind of hand dyed yarn um so picture would pop up like you know a color work would pop up and i have different skeins of hand dyed yarn but none of them spoke to me but when i was holding this one it spoke to me or other ways and i said oh wow i'll use it for exactly that pullover so i have planned for this skein and then i also got this beautiful guys it's a 30 percent virgin wool 30 percent cotton and 40 percent polyacryl polyacrylic so it's like uh, i will yeah insert smaller pieces of this yarn cloth <laughs> I 
100 grams and I was thinking what and it's 400 meters and 100 grams and I was thinking what should I knit out of it but also with this gift magazine with patterns came <laughs> uh, it's in Russian language I never had any patterns or books in Russian so now I got one I speak Russian as well right Ukrainian and Russian and here in this magazine there's a different uh, a lot of the ladies who are writing patterns for this magazine are also they have podcasts and here as you can see this vest yeah and I think this yarn would be perfect for this vest but I didn't check uh, what gauge I should get oops maybe I'll um, need to add some in here some vests for kids and some socks And here also sweater for men and vest for girls and also this beautiful sweater. So quite nice. I'm sure I'll need something out of here, but I never used um, Russian pattern description. So it would be for me, it's very interesting. Um, will I understand it? How I will knit it and then also i got project bag it's hand sewn project bag with a string i feel like it's like such a nice uh, christmasy color and here when you unzip you have also this little clippers that you can keep your stitch markers or something hanging here or just a small bag right with stitch markers and it would be perfect for me uh, to put my see it's almost like size of this uh, project bag and because I usually knit on nine circular needles my socks so this bag could be a very perfect to hold it so that's my gift Like, I don't know, it was just, it always feels so good to get a gift from another knitter or from a knitting store, right? Because they just know exactly uh, what you need and what you will be happy, what you will enjoy so much. So I'm so glad that um, you know, I got that price and it makes me very happy. And also I bought some yarns because like, as you know, often a lot of yarn stores before New Year, they have different sales, like for Black Friday and stuff. I some often buy yarn from Knit Peaks and I know that they do 12 weeks or something before Christmas uh, when they do every week different sales. And I knew uh, some yarns that I really like from there. So I was watching for it, like when it goes on sale and I got some and I'll show you kind of closer <laughs> uh, what I got, like kind of unboxing. And I have another package on the way when it comes, I'll show you it as well. So I think that's it uh, for my talking <laughs> my face in the camera to you and now i would like uh, to take you to the table and show you unboxing of my yarn and also some of my other finished objects that i would like to show you today okay now we are here upstairs i know lightning maybe not the best but i still would like to show you four pairs of socks that i was able to knit out of our angora mink for yarn uh, pattern for these uh, socks is called uh, rainy day angora socks and i will link it in the description below so any of you who are interested can go and purchase this uh, pattern it has uh, 10 or 11 sizes and three different widths for different feet and i really love this soft beautiful socks uh, 
also I finished this beautiful red uh, pink hot pink mittens um, I really also enjoyed knitting them and I'm also working on a pattern for this mate so hopefully soon it will be available on Ravelry here you can see my yarn inquiries that I purchased from knit picks site uh, because as I mentioned they had some sales and I was watching for this particular yarn to go on sale because I really love it it's Lindy chain fingering weight it's 70% uh, linen and 20% prima cotton in this beautiful ash colorway I really love this yarn I knit it already out of it I washed it I wore it so I knew that I want more garments in this yarn uh, because it's natural it's very easy to work with and pleasant to the touch and it wears well doesn't like it has some wrinkles but not much when you're wearing also yarn is like a kind of made like a chain so that's why linen is also very nice and soft to the touch and I really love it and I decided to take four balls because it would be enough for a uh, garment also I got uh, this yellow curry colorway uh, tournament I really love it really nice colors that will go with most of my garments and also this color you can't see really <laughs> as a color it should be it's kind of like a peach colorway here you can see it as orange but it's not orange so I got those three colors because I, I thought what colors do I need in my wardrobe and that's how I chose them and here I'm showing you Cristalla tops that I knitted out of same Lindy chain yarn I used a forest green and light blue and uh, this garment wears great and looks great in a lace or in a stockinette stitch um, so I really really enjoy this yarn and <laughs> it's one of my favorites so I'm sure I'll need like few like three tops for myself that I can wear like under cardigans or like so through the whole year not just for the summer it was so nice uh, seeing you, talking to you. Please leave a comment in a box because it's always nice to have this feedback and to know who is watching and what you're thinking, what you're knitting on, because that's what creates a community uh, together. Okay.